I'm Jovi E with RB Only, and you see it, we're here at RB Only Fest. I found a rare Bernard. Like none other than Ty Dollar Sign. Leon Thomas here. Will Wildfire in the house. The one, the only Tone Stiff. Dende here. My BFF, Johnny Blaze. The lovely Erica Officer, Mado. I'm here with Chris Patrick. DJ Money, what's up? Trey, how y'all doing? There's been a lot of back and forth. New school RB, old school RB. Which side are you taking? Old school, but there are some of the, the new wave, which I am a part of, uh, that I really do appreciate. So we need both, you know, but of course I'm going to be back pre-2000s, you know. The old school R&B is the greatest ever. Us new people, we're just trying to be as great as the people that set it up for us and shit. So shout out to everybody that is still singing their hearts out and like really taking this music shit serious, you know what I'm saying? Old school R&B versus new school R&B. Honestly, I'm a big old school R&B fan. No disrespect to the new guys. There's really something about, you know, Marvin Gaye. There's something about the Ohio players, you know, Stevie Wonder that really takes the cake for me. I mean, look, we got to give it to the old school because that's the only way. They, they paved the way, first off. That's the reason why we're here. So I got to give it to the old school. Uh, I got to be biased because I'm a part of it. I'm rocking with today. I love old school music, but, you know, we got a different sound, blending a bunch of different genres, and that's really what R&B is right now. So I'm rocking with us right now. Old school is like everything. That's how it's started but I like new school too. I'm a big old school fan I'm all into neo soul like Erica Badu is my number one Lauren Hill Jill Scott like I'm all for the R&B of today but nothing tops old school R&B in my opinion I am an old school guy but I'm leaning more toward a new school we got a lot of great folk uh almost we gonna consider some walk R&B right like I fuck with some right, walking right. lucky day crazy obviously my dog Dende I got some pipes myself like I get crazy too I mean I feel like old school forever because all new school is inspired by that so I think that that will always be the pick because it's it's never gonna leave I always gotta go old school r and man. I'm sorry, man. Even though Atlee's Vaughn, Money Long, you got the new school, but old school r and got a different place in my heart, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go old school. See, they love our rhythm, but they don't really want to accept our blues. And I think the old school has a lot more blues in there. What's the biggest difference between those two schools for you? Folks aren't being raised in church. A lot of where we got our harnessing for being able to work the stage, to be able to get that training. Also, um, music education. It's not in schools. I was homeschooled and my mother's a music teacher, so I already had that. So I think if we were to get back into artist development, media training, things like that, then we would see a little bit more, you can be a little bit more seasoned. Just different times of coming up. In the old school, it was like more real instruments and like you really had to learn that shit. Nowadays, it's like you just pull up Fruity Loops, Ableton, Pro Tools. That's the difference, that's a big difference. The artistry, yeah. the craftsmanship behind but it. People that can draw in amazing shit, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. I think it's just the influence of live musicianship, you know? Honestly, we've got some amazing artists out right now going crazy, and I got mad respect for them. I work with a lot of them on a production that's on right in front, as well as collaborate, so, you know, it's nothing but love, but, you know, it's fucking Marvin, you know? <laughs> I think the difference now is, like, the love is just missing just a little bit. Like, you feel the soul from the old records just because it's like, that's what they were doing. And now it's really, really pick it up quick and really, really put it down fast. But there are artists that are doing that now, you know? And we here, baby! No, I'm joking. I think there's a few new new school R&B uh, artists that are still keeping it real, keeping it, you know, coming from an honest place, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of the other new music that we got is kind of experimental. The key for me is keeping the music honest and true, and that's why they want it. doesn't matter what type of sounds you use. It don't matter if it's new sounds, old sounds. You just got to come from a real place and connect. Back in the day, they were singing in the rain and stuff, and we kind of not doing that no more. <laughs> but but uh, we're, this is a different we're a different gener a generation, so. It's mixed now. They take a part of the old school and they mix it into the new of what they sound like. It's still similarities there, but it's still like taking, it's always great to take vintage and put it with now. Back then, like we had all the ballads, singing in the shower, singing in the car, like belty type songs. Today, it's a lot more like upbeat. It's almost like hip hop meets R&B. Uh, I mean, I'm 26, I'm a little bit older, so I feel like this is relate more to me. Like we be outside and shit. So it just connects and clicks a lot more than the old stuff do. I mean, not that it, it don't still hit, but it's just like we living in these moments that these folks is making music about. So it definitely feels way closer to home. I think a lot of songs now lack a little bit of emotion. I mean, they all have emotion, but it's more cool now. Back then it was more vulnerable. It was a lot more vulnerable. I mean, there's a lot of new army artists that are like that, but I think that it was, it's not as present in army music as it used to be. I hope I'm not offending anybody, but I just think that in the past, I think we dealt with a lot more. I'm not 
gonna lie, the fellas don't beg no more, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. The fellas don't beg no more, man. But sometimes you gotta get down on, on the knees. The covers you used to have that you sitting on with your one arm. Valid, valid, valid. <laughs> Who has been your favorite artist to work with thus far? My biggest flex of my career right now would be Earth, Wind & Fire. They were my first gig uh, as a production assistant when I was 16. Also being able to collaborate with them as well. So to work for and work with, one of my main inspirations, because they really set the tone for like what I wanted to do, because I didn't know that I wanted to be a singer. Ty Dolla Sign and Leon Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, more recently, I'm really excited to be working with Ty Dolla Sign. He's, he's definitely been a mentor and a really good friend. Um, also working with LMA has been amazing. We have a song called Not a, uh, Another Love Song. I just won a Billboard Award, so it's really cool. And I was really excited about like where we're headed, you know? Shout out my homegirl Jasmine. Jasmine is doing it really, really good. Jasmine, and then my friend, I'm gonna see here, DJ Miss Milan, shout you out, baby, love you. I gotta say her. That's that's family, that's family. It's always love with her. She put me on her tour in 2018, and uh, last year too, in 2021. Always show mad love, so I gotta give it to her. Probably my friend, Lily Aviana. I would say Susan Carroll. I would say, it's not out yet, but Tone Stiz. I'm looking forward to doing more stuff with more R&B artists. Though. Neil made me cry. <laughs> he was like, sis, what's going on? I'm like, this is a moment. And Tori, Tori Lanez. But Neo probably because um, I waited for so long and I was patient about it. Uh-huh. I want y'all to keep this recording. Honestly, it's, it's the guy I just got off the stage with. Dende my dog, Erica, too. I got a, a couple songs with her as well, but I love Dende. Erica, that was my favorite. Uh, the homie Lily Aviana, she's from Texas as well. One is Tone Stith. I don't know who he was. I just performed with him. Love him. He's like a brother. Last night we were in the studio. He was trying to, I don't really, I'm still learning how to write lyrics, and he was pushing me to write last night. So Tone, Ombre, I would say. I worked with Party Next Door a few months ago. That was really good. What about some R&B artists that you haven't had a chance to work with yet that you'd like to work with? down. I mean, I don't even consider her just R&B, but Beyonce would be a phenomenal collaboration. You know, I'm really hoping for it. I would love to work with Rihanna. Shoot. Quincy Jones. Me and Solange definitely need to get a 96 pack of crayons okay. and hit the studio. I'd like to do something with Kendrick. That's a solid lineup right ooh, there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Also, Tyler Crater and Tierra Whack. Michelle and Diggy Cello. She's the greatest right there. I want to work with her. Ty Dolla Sign, if you see this, What's good? I like Cleo Soul. Mm. I like her a whole lot. But Isaiah Huron, if y'all don't know who that is, mm. you're gonna know. You know, Lucky, uh, Brent, you know what I'm saying? Y'all look, man, whenever y'all ready, I'm ready. Oh, I wanna work with Lucky Day, he here, so <laughs> we gonna good try job. to make that happen, look. <laughs> Ooh, Brandy, Mariah Carey, um, Jasmine Sullivan, her, LMA, Beyonce, Fantasia, yes. Sade, Lauren Hill. Um, I could just go on and on, Indy Ari. Lucky Day for sure. <laughs> Miguel, absolutely, um, Jenny A. Kiana Lede, Summer Walker. The one on the top of my list right now is most definitely Summer Walker. Mm -hmm. Joyce Rice up there too. Mm -hmm. I know we're not gonna call her R&B, you know, the award shows do, but Doja Cat, shit, if she gonna be R&B, let's do something <laughs> with Doja Cat. SZA, I love SZA. She's so amazing and so cool and I would love to work with her, yeah. Then I could yeah. see that. I feel like yeah. that would be a really dope vibe. If you were getting married tomorrow, what R&B artist, dead or alive, do you have singing at your wedding? Can I do like a male and female? Absolutely. Okay. If it was a male, I'm having Rick James. It's gonna be just a funk defied Wedding, yes indeed, and then woman, Phyllis Hyman. Just, yeah. I would have Leon Thomas sing at my wedding for sure. Woo, singing at my wedding? <sighs> Ella Fitzgerald, I feel it would be a vibe, you know? Ooh. I mean, that's just really where I'm going. I feel like she would really bring the vibes. That's a new yeah. one. We haven't but you heard know what? that. But you know what, Jasmine Sullivan would be phenomenal right now, because she's alive and well. Bring Aaliyah. I want Aaliyah. Yeah, it would be it would be Aaliyah, I think. Sure, that would be one of the <laughs> hardest questions ever. Oh my God. I would say Michael Jackson, usually, but I can't. People expect that, right? Mm -hmm. I gotta give it to Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye at the wedding. That Yeah, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. Whitney Houston. It's so many records to explain. It's something about... First of all, it's just like, oh yeah, I had my wedding. Who sung there? Whitney Houston. You don't have to say what song. Yeah, right. You just be like, yeah, Whitney there. I'd probably do Whitney Houston. Mm. Just because she's the greatest of all. Like, she's the queen of R&B. Yeah, I know my shorty, so I'm going to just say Summer Walker. It could be the best day in the world, but she still want that toxic <laughs> running through. Well, I'm with it, though. Are we going to get it? Let's get it. A mini ripper team. Yeah. It'd be some pretty, like, like lovely light. all over the place. Yeah. That's one that we haven't gotten yet that I actually really, really mm. like. Marvin Gaye. Mm. That was easy. You saw how fast he is? Good DC brother, too. I'm going to probably, I got to go good John Legend, because he's going to bring that piano out, too. I love that. Three songs that have to be on your sex playlist. Stuck by Duran Bernard, because that'll get the girl shot up. Okay. Um, <laughs> I need Le Petite Mort by Michelle and Cello. Okay. And the other one that comes to mind probably would be Addicted by Tweet. 
Yeah. Like he said, you get the girls <laughs> shot up. Okay. I was like, retweet, retweet. Knocking the boots by H Town, Forever My Lady, Jodeci, X Rated, Leon Thomas. Mm, why those songs? Those are just great songs, you know? Sure. And what are some lyrics from those songs that, like, really just. Somebody rocking, knocking the boots. You already know. I ain't gotta say it. Look it up. Oh, shit. No okay, flow a tree for sure. Jill Scott. You're not naming songs, though. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Say less, flow a tree. And then Jill Scott. Long walk. I feel like that vibe. That vibe no. to me is like, I'm trying to get it right, though. Long walk. Alex Isley. She has this song on there. I, I forget the name of it, but she's, yeah, she, she's definitely on my playlist. Okay. Why those songs specifically? Any? It's just about mood. It's about kind of setting up the vibe. You know, I feel like those are great songs for that. Juicy by Pretty Ricky. That's got to be, that's got to be one. Any Anything off of like now by Maxwell is gonna go on there. I can't really pick one. Why are those songs? I've been listening to Tell On Myself, Pretty Ricky since I was like 11. <laughs> and um, they are my first foray into just really, really diving into R&B music. The tone of Pleasure P is one of my favorites. I think that's probably why. You could play a lot of those right now. Like if you play, it's five in the morning, everybody's, you know, hip. And that's off the late night special album, but you get what I'm saying. Those jumps are timeless, so. All right, look, we are gonna start off with sexual healing, yeah, right? Very on brand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Marvin Gaye. I'm going to put my own song in there. I just got to see which one. I'm probably going to do When You Love Someone. I'll throw that. I'll slide that one in there. And to finish it, oh, Prince, Do Me Baby. Come on. Any memories or like attachment to those songs in particular? I mean, for me though, you know, all right, I would say with Prince, that was just one of them songs where I was like, oh shit, like this is how music is supposed to feel. You're supposed to get chills. You're supposed to, as a listener, I'm just listening, but I'm like, damn, I could feel what he's saying. A song called Candy by Dende, a song called Most Days by Dende, and a song called uh, Just a Whole Pregnancy Pack, <laughs> and it's all by Dende. It's I all on there, you that. know? Oh my God, Say It by Neo. Lucky Days by over is like the, the one that kind of it just I don't know put me on the spot you know what I'm saying what matters more the production the lyrics, the lyrics who's singing it the lyrics it doesn't you know sometimes we can't even identify a voice sometimes which is not bad it's just we like great music we don't try to identify it yet we just love it Snow Allegro I want you around division between us please you Dunday featuring Erica Officer it's not out yet but it's on the way <laughs> why those songs well I'm just big on passion like I just like intimacy like vulnerability that's like my top two when it comes to those types of moments mm -hmm. so I feel like songs like that like really lets you tap in to just being comfortable with your partner songs like between us is when you want to turn it up a little bit get a little more freaky and things like that please use like a mix of both I'm not gonna hold y'all I'm really a super super huge Summer Walker fan so if you give me the uh I tried to say it was his shorty at first but look at him nah listen listen <laughs> Summer Walker crazy but uh let's yeah I did try to say it was her over it that whole over project I can't even pick a song off that shit, but play that whole project through babies 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 baby you know <laughs> <laughs> One is Yeah, I Said It by Rihanna. That's like the first thing that came to mind. Why was that the first thing that came to mind? It's just a song about sex, and it's just good. <laughs> it's like a vibe. Something by Sir. I don't know what song by Sir, but some Sir song. This one might be a little dramatic. I love Dance For You by Beyonce. I don't know if that'd be too dramatic to play during sex, but that's a song that gets me like in the mood or whatever. <laughs> no such thing is yeah. too dramatic, especially yeah. when we're talking about no. Queen B. I can't say song, but I have to say artist. I mean, I'm gonna put some Sade. I like that. Anita. Okay. Jodeci, Lil Jodeci. Sure. Who else? Uh, Teddy? Mm. Teddy P? 